51. This is a series of videos about R and R Studio. We start with what is R and R Studio, and then we will take off with how to download R, and we will cover basics to more complex topics. Let's start. Let's go to the chase. Why use R? Uh, no more endless clicking. Uh, type your commands uh, and uh, everything will get done. Reproducibility. Repeat your work exactly every single time. Another uh, a thing is uh, that uh, R is interdisciplinary, so it works across fields. It's super flexible. It also handles uh, all data, big or small. R's got it covered. Uh, what about the graphics? Its visuals are got your back, so it's very good for graphics. In terms of community, uh, R has tons of people ready to help, and it's seriously, the community is just huge. Uh, another thing is that it's open source, so it's free and works on any platform, so no strings attached. That's it. R is powerful, versatile, and community-driven. Give it a shot. A is a programming language that has become an indispensable tool for data analysis and generating graphics. One of the best things about A is that it's free and open source, making it accessible to anyone who wants to analyze data, create visualizations, or engage in statistical computing. Now, while A is powerful on its own, many users prefer to work with it through a Studio, a user-friendly interface that serves as a wrapper around the A language. A Studio extends what you can do with R by providing numerous additional features and tools that facilitate writing and debugging the code. Like R, R Studio is also free and open source. Together, R and R Studio form a robust platform for data analysis that is widely used in both academia and industry. Let's cover the topic of downloading R and R Studio. But first, make sure to download and install R before doing the same with R, with, uh, with R Studio. I am going to show you how to download and install R. First, open your web browser. In the search bar, type download R. As you type, you will see a, a few suggestions uh, pop up. The gift on this slide um, shows the whole process. So after searching for download R um, and clicking on download R 4.0 for Windows, you will access the official website for CRAN or Comprehensive R Archive Network. You will be able to download the executable file to install R in your computer. I will also explain how to download R for Mac OS and Linux users. You will find instructions for uh, various distributions uh, there. For Windows users, click on the base sub subdirectory and then on download R for Windows. Once the download is complete, open the installer file. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. It's pretty straightforward. Just click next a few times and you'll be all set. After installation, you can open R directly. However, I suggest uh, I suggest you waiting to download R and install R Studio, which is a popular development environment for R. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded R and, uh, and installed R. On the CRAM website, you can also click on the link Mirrors if you want to choose a different location closer to you uh, to download R will notice uh, the UK has a couple of universities that host the uh, software R. Remember, 
make sure to download and install R before doing the same with R Studio. Now I am going to show you how to download and install R Studio, the popular integrated development environment for R. Let's get started. First, open your browser and in the search bar type download R Studio and hit enter. The GIF that you are seeing on this video will show you the whole process. So you can go back and forth if you want with this video. Click on the link that says Download R Studio. This will take you to the official R Studio download page. Here you will see uh, different versions of R Studio available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Select the version compatible with your operating system. For this tutorial, I am using Windows, so I'll click on the R Studio desktop and uh, um, download for, uh, the download link for Windows. Once the download is complete, open the installer file to begin the installation process. Follow on the screen instructions. It's a straightforward process. Just click next a few times and you are good to go. Here you can make a post to make sure you download R and R Studio. You can ask questions in the comments and after the installation is complete, open R Studio. Note that you do not need to open R anymore. This is because R Studio opens R in the background and will provide you with a nice interface for you to enjoy your programming from a friendly layout. And that's it. You successfully downloaded and installed R Studio. Remember to download and install first R and then R Studio. Then you will be able to um, carry on opening R Studio without uh, um, uh, opening R. Next video, we will cover using R Studio for the first time. Stay tuned and like my video.